Riot really went and did it, man. Not only did it buff every champion's tankiness, HP, armor, and MR, but by doing so, they nerfed assassins, including Zed. So in this video, we're going to be talking about is Zed trash? Is he garbage? Or is he still viable? And what builds and runes do I go right now with Zed in Challenger A West? Let's get right into it. Okay. All right, let's start out by looking at Zed's win rate. So you go Platinum Plus, Mid, you scroll down, keep on scrolling down all the way to rank 38, 38 best mid laner right now. D tier 49% win rate. But you know what's even more concerning? Look at his ban rate, 32.2% despite him being a 49% win rate champion. This is wild. And you know what's even crazier? If you look at Master Plus, so if you look at like the highest of ELOs, so Master Plus, you go down, he's even worse at a 48.5% win rate. That means that he's actually worse in high ELO and better in lower ELOs. All right, so if you go to League's official website, you can see, all right, this is what they changed. Base cell plus 70, health growth plus 14 per level. But that's not what's actually concerning. The thing that's actually wild is the armor growth plus 1.2 per level so if we do a little bit of calculations right so at level six they should have six times 1.2 that's 7.2 more armor only at level six by the way that's around five percent less damage they take so they just take five percent less damage on top of that the health the health difference so they got 14 14 per level so 14 times 6, that's 84 plus the 70 base. So now level 6, they're going to have 154 more HP. But on top of that, they get 7.2 extra armor. So they take around 5% less damage. So it's just so much harder to all in someone level 6 now. Like, let's be real here. What do you want to do with Zed? You want to get an early solo kill or you want to roam. And then you want to snowball off that, right? You want to get stronger. But now... The effect of the ride just cooked you. Now the snowball is so much harder to get. Like to get that little small little snowball that you can keep on rolling. So much harder now. Because everybody's just stupidly tanky just by getting levels. So let's say you didn't get the early game solo kill at level 6. You didn't get a good roam off. And now the enemy mid laner is slightly ahead of you. Well, you're fucked. Because not only do they get more armor now if they're more ahead... That, remember, lethality is not flat armor pen. It scales off levels. If they're higher level than you, you deal less damage. I've seen people in my games in Challenger, they, like ADC Senna's, they literally have only a Tabis late game and they have 100 plus armor. Imagine having 100 plus armor with only Tabis and they go full damage. So making a comeback right now, I won't say it's impossible, but it's so much harder. So if you're but not even or ahead, you're behind, good luck coming back into the game because everybody's going to have more armor. You're going to deal much less damage and just going to be hard to start that snowball and come back into the game now. Right, so now the question is, what do I build? People ask me, yo, Weaver, what do you build in Challenger right now? Zed is trash right now. I don't know what to build. Well, I'm answering right here. So basically, let's go to my Obla GG Challenger. You already know. There it goes. Uh... Zoom in real quick. Let's look at this game. Build. Let's start with the runes, okay? It's Team Conquer. You already know. Fuck Electrocute. That shit is trash right now. As I said, it's so much harder to look for these one-shots and all-ins. So, what do you do? You go Conquer. You have you can stay in fights much more longer. It's like a slightly different playstyle. And then you go Conquer. I go Presence of Mind. It's really good. Like, after you get a kill, you can get you get some energy back. And then you can just fuck someone like else over. And then you go, I, I go Bloodline. You can do whatever you want. I think I like Critic Critic could be good for, like, jungle. And then we go last stand. Some people would like to go critical. I like to go last stand. It's clutch as fuck. Sorcery is secondary. And then we go Nimbus. You're in, uh, you know me. If you know me, you know we love Nimbus Cloak over here, man. That's the go-to rune. Transcendence, man. Then we go damage, damage, armor. If you're jungle, I really love going attack speed. But this is for mid lane set, so. All right, so now for the build. So what I go, season 22 with Zed is... We rush Eclipse, okay? We rush Eclipse. You can buy boots before you buy Eclipse. But I don't like to, like, finish the boots. I don't like to go Ionian. 
especially because we already have transcendence and if you get yomu second you already get you know with zed you need at least 20 ability haste why so you could do wq and you could do another wq so basically uh, like double shuriken twice but basically we go eclipse we build into yomus then we go straight into cleaver why cleaver gives hp and then with this build, you get HP, you're so fucking strong with Conqueror, you're bruisery, you're tanky. Like legit, it's tank, it's bruiser meta, man. It's legit bruiser tank uvu meta, like enchanters, and then there's bruisers. So right now, you want to build into Cleaver, you know, you got to get a bit tankier. And then, what I usually like to do for Titan, it depends on the game. So, let's say you have no carriage in your team, everybody in your team is complete ass. Then, I, I go Cyrilda's fourth, okay? But if I have a team, I go Death Dance for it. Why? Bro, Death Dance is legit busted, man. This shit is broken as fuck. Like, if you build Death Dance, you just cannot die. Like, fourth, you can one-shot them and you can't die. So, Cleaver third into Death Dance fourth. But as I said, if you need to 1v9, you don't have a team, I go Cyrilda's fourth to, for the 1v9 potential because it deals more damage. And then fifth item, if you go, if you go Death Dance fourth, Fifth item, you can go Cerulea, so you can go Edge of Night for even more tankiness. You go Maw if they have some AP carries, because Maw is really good now. But if you go Cerulea's fourth, then fifth item, you can go Death Stance, Edge of Night. You know, Maw, it depends. And then for the sneakers, for the boots, I like to go Mercs. Uh, but if they have a lot of armor, uh, Tabis obviously could be better. And you know, I've, you've seen people that only build Tabis, Tabis in this meta, but they get like 100 plus armor with only tabis they came it's disgusting so yeah i go mercs or the pot tabis depends on the enemy team obviously all right so that right there is the 2022 best z build that i find the most success on in this meta of legal legandos so let's see it in action right now so let me just show you a little bit of like how we play with this build in game so right here right you see diana we see gp top lane I'm tanky as a motherfucker. Right now, I got Eclipse, Cleaver, Yomus building into Death Stance. So, what do we do? We just go in, we got Conquer, we just go in, we tank everything. And then right here, we could literally just kill this GP as well. We kill Diana. I'm not used to my tankiness. I'm like, what the fuck? I live that. We live that and we just easy one with two of them. We Conquer, we Eclipse, we got Cleaver, we're building into Death Stance. You're so tanky with this build. Alright, so here's another clip. Show the tank list with Zeds. Right here, we got Cleaver, Eclipse, Yomus. Look at this shit right here. So we're gonna go on the Jinx. Absolutely fuck her up. Even though we're Bruiser Zed, we still deal crazy damage. And then, this is gonna jump us, right? So this is is gonna be like, yeah, what's up? Like, it doesn't matter. You're Bruiser Zed. You don't die, Shai. Like, in the J, you just don't die. Look at this shit. We don't die. We got... If we're regular Zed, we would have died there 100%. So we just escape. We bait them. And then... This Wukong... Tries to go for us. Fuck him up, bro. Just like that. That's just an example of how to play this Bruiser Zed build in Challenger. Alright, so... Do I think Zed's absolutely dead? You can't play him at all? No. I think he's still viable. But... Do I think Zed's worse? Obviously, 100%. Like, Lethality Assassin Zed is absolutely, like, significantly worse. But, as I said, if you go Bruiser Zed, it still works somewhat. Uh, I've been finding success with it in Challenger. It is 100% more boring than Lethality Zed. But, hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do for that elo. And, hey, man, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. I read everything. And also, like, subscribe, you know, all that bullshit all the YouTubers say. And share with your bros and hoes, whatever. I really appreciate it. But, hey, man, until next time, we out this bitch. Gang.